name is Eric Harris. I'm currently a manufacturing manager for Boeing at the Boeing South Carolina site. Uh, my team builds the tail section. Um, I got my love of aviation at an early age. I've always had a love for flying and aviation. Um, my mom bought me like a glider kit when I was like eight. Um, I always like building stuff with my hands. And, you know, uh, in, De in Detroit, they had programs like uh, Daps Up and a couple of like uh, early STEM type programs where you could, you know, go you know, do like pre engineering courses, like build chemical cars or, you know, first robotics when it was first started when we had Legos. It, you know, maybe just took a couple steps. Like now you got these kids that have like full on, like, you know, battles and drones and all sorts of cool stuff. Uh, I started my career um, in Seattle, Washington, working for Aviation Technical Services on 737s, doing heavy C and D checks. And from there, I went to work for Boeing in the tank system mechanic on 787, doing all the wing and upgrades uh, from flight test. Uh, from there, I did a little bit of time at Lockheed Martin on the C5 RRP, um, basically uh, taking out a section of the pylon and rebuilding it back up, so putting a new motor on. And then for the last nine years, I've been here at Boeing, South Carolina as a mechanic. Uh, uh, about last, before I became a manager, about two years ago, I was at MT Lee for almost six years. Um, carried a dual role with, uh, for inspection as well. So I can inspect my own work, which I was one of the first at the site to do that. And then I could also inspect my other teammates' work. Uh, my daily schedule, uh, we start my career up. Uh, check attendance, make sure my guys are all fully checked in and ready to work. Um, from there, usually review like the daily assignments. Um, so my team, we typically work on maybe two or three airplanes at a time, depending on how the flow is going. So we, you know, assign the partners, you know, figure out what our, our major issues for the day or whatever our major milestones are. And then we, um, because it's all work in production, so we usually work to a set plan. Um, so we're trying to usually kick keep most of the baseline plan unless there's a you know, major issue and we we'll divert resources to work that and you know, figure we need work, work overtime to, to make our, our full load or we can just maintain what we got. So the the beauty, beauty of working for a big corporation, um, mm -hmm. 140,000 employees in our company and it goes worldwide. Mm -hmm. um, I've had the opportunity to live coast to coast, come to Japan, work for a company. Um, I've had friends, I mean, literally going in anywhere Anywhere your mind of, you, of what you want to do, whether it's space, engineering, boats, drones, IT, quality, management. Uh, I mean, you got, I got friends that are social media managers for Boeing. It's, mm -hmm. it's the world's open to you. So whatever you decide that you want to do for your career and how you feel like you should navigate it. I got friends that have gone from, you know, in 10 years or almost a VP and you got other people I mean, they want to be a mechanic or they want to be a lead or manager like I like I ended up being. Um, I mean, you got people with directors. Like I said, it's probably positive in this. I got friends that, you know, kids came right out of high school with Boeing, you know, and then went to school and then Boeing paid for a degree. And then mm -hmm. now that, you know, they're in IT, in the IT realm. You got a manufacturer, you can, you can walk up in high school. Like I said, they'll put you to the course. After high school, you can come to the course. Like Boeing, we, we have a actually an internship program we're starting trying to trying to do there's one in seattle as well as also down here in, in charleston a lot of companies like if you work for a manufacturer they'll switch to training or a lot of like the like say here in charleston they have a lot of stuff we try to tech we can go for like a either your amp license uh which would make you a certified aircraft mechanic or mm -hmm. a lot of them have like a um a, uh, aircraft technician course which would be like about a year or so it doesn't get your license, but it'll give you the basic knowledge. So that when you come to the job site, it'll be easy for you to transition. They offer a couple different internship paths, depending on uh, early, like in high school, depending on the site. And then a lot of times with with college, um, this year was all virtual because of you know, with COVID. But in the past, you know, the students basically apply to the site that they would like to go to. So you could agree, like, you know, say if you're engineering, you're engineering, uh, ME, IE, electrical engineering, um, industrial engineering, you pick that discipline, they would bring you out to the site for the summertime and you kind of work side, shoulder to shoulder with experienced professionals. You also have like the, I think it's called the Early Career Rotation Program, where if you, when you finish that, you come in as a Boeing engineer, and you can switch between the roles and disciplines depending on your degree path. So then they'll actually send you to different sites and then you get to pick two of them. And they'll actually pay for you to move there, um, set you up, you get to go, you know, rotate through that 
had a particular um, curriculum, and then I think at the end of the program, they they get if, they get offers to pick which site they will go to and which discipline they want to stick with. Like, I, I would be love for aviation, so seeing an airplane take off or you know just launch a new product, I love being on the bleeding edge of new design and new new things coming out. I've had opportunities to work on all sorts of cool things for the company. So mm -hmm. that first launch or first flight is always the best feeling. Yeah. Um, the planning of it is kind of the, like the tough nail, especially in production. Where you're trying to figure out how to the best do everything. Like where you, you know, you get a new design, like you just want to go do it. So you're sitting in a room and thinking about it and, you know, hey, how do we get this tool here? Where's, where's this part going to come from in the world? Sometimes those get kind of redundant, but it all gets to the value stream. So you set those things up so everything can be easier later. Follow your dreams, um, you know, take the time to network. Always be willing to ask questions, ask for help. There's always somebody that's willing to help you out. 